Hello guys, welcome to SureGuide Success. This video is on selection sort. As if now we have completed few sortings and these sortings are comparison based sorting techniques. So selection sort is also one of the comparison based sorting technique. In this technique at the end of each pass there will be a minimum value and there will be only one swap in a single pass maximum there will be n minus 1 comparison so let's understand it with the help of an example so what we have here is we have input we have as input 8 elements let's name them so there are 8 elements what we will do here is we will put the value of i starting from the first pass and we will increment as as we move to the next pass for example in the pass 1 i value will be 1 so when the i value will be 1 and the minimum has to be started from the one it has to be started from 1 to 8 we have to check if the number is minimum we have to replace it with that position since i is equal to 1 so we are on this position so we have to check on the right side if there is any smaller value so we have to replace them sorry so then we have to replace the value of 1 by the position for example here what we have is 70 so 17 is at first position itself it will be minimum we have moved to the here and 25 is less than 70 so the position will be changed to 2 now we have moved to the other position what is it it is on the third position 15 is there so 15 is the minimum among those two so minimum will be stored at 3 similarly if we move on further fourth position the value will be smaller so we have to save it as fourth position check fifth position 80 it is greater no change similarly for sixth position 70 it is also greater than 70 it is not minimum now we have to check at 7th position the value is 3 so it is the minimum value so we have to replace it with 7 so while finally what we have is we have 7th value and we have to replace it with the first position what we have to do is we have to swap the ith value of the array with the minimum value of array so what we have to do we have to swap first element with the seven element if we swap first with the seven element what we have here is there it will be three and rest will be same 25 15 10 80 17 at the place of three there will be 70 because we have swapped it and 21 so you can see what i have told you earlier is there will be only one swap in one pass so you can see there is only one swap there is only one swap in a single pass and what i also told you that it will give a minimum value so 3 is the minimum value so now we have to again apply into the remaining one so now the pass value will be incremented what will be the pass value it will be now we have to apply into the resultant array from the pass 1 so if we apply in this what it will be minimum will be started from it will be at first position second third fourth fifth sixth seventh and eighth position so we have started from the second position so we have to start the comparison from the third position <coughs> second is also same now we have to check for the third one among 
this array so third is minimum yes 15 is minimum replace it with 3 fourth is minimum yes 10 is minimum than 15 then now if you check further none of the value is smaller than 10 so we have to replace the 12th value with with fourth value sorry so we have to replace the 12th value with fourth value so what it will be here 15 will be swapped with sorry 10 will be swapped with 10 will be swapped with 25 so what will be here is it will be 10 15 here it will be 25 80 17 20 and 21 it will be same for the third pass the ith value will be 3 and they are already sorted so we don't have to disturb them we have to start from the third onwards so let's place it at 3 if you check further there will be no change because 15 is the smallest one so it will be same as this only so it will be what it will be 15 3 and 10 will be same it will be 15 and afterwards there will be 25 80 17 20 and 21 so now we have to apply the fourth pass we have to increment the ith value to 4 and minimum value will be also Four because these three are already sorted so this one is fourth fifth sixth seventh and eighth so fourth is 25 minimum fifth is not minimum sixth is less than 25 so there it will be six now if you move further there will be no value less than 17 so we have to replace the fourth value with the sixth value so 3 10 15 will be same we have to replace the fourth value with the sixth value so there it will be 17 80 25 20 and 21 so these are already sorted it will be 1 2 3 4 it will be 5th 6th 7th and 8th now pass at pass 5th at 5th pass minimum value will be started from 5th onwards 5th is 80 80 is minimum because we have checked only one element Afterwards, 25 will be the minimum, so we have to replace with 6. Then 20 will be the minimum, so we have to replace with 7. Now, finally, we have to replace the fifth value with the seventh value. So, what it will be here? 3, 10, 15, 17, and we have to replace fifth with 7. So, here it will be 20, 25, 80, and 21. So, these five values are sorted. So, now we have to apply for these in this at pass 6. I value will be 6. And minimum will be also 6 so 25 it will be 6 7th and 8 25 is smaller okay no problem and 80 is the larger known escape 21 is smaller than 25 so here it will be 8 now we have to replace the sixth value with the eighth value we have to replace the sixth value with the eighth value so what will be the answer 3 10 15 17 21 20 here it will be 20 here it will be 18 and it will be 25 so now these two elements are not sorted so we have to apply the pass number 7 in 7th ith value will be 7 and minimum will be also started from 7 so you can see the 8th is smaller so it will be 8 now we have to replace the 8th value with the 7th value so the resultant array will be the sorted array like this now let's un understand the time complexity here as you can see that in the first pass we have to compare the whole array so there will be n minus 1 comparison in the first pass in the first pass there will be n minus 1 comparison similarly here what I have done is in the second pass because one element is already sorted so we have to compare one less than n minus that means n minus 2 similarly here n minus 3 and so on till here because we have to check in the final there is only 
one element we have checked so if we find out about the number of comparison so what will be the total comparison total comparison will be some some of these all so n minus 1 plus n minus 2 plus up to 1 so we can also write it as 1 plus 2 plus 3 up to n minus 1 we can solve it using this formula n to n minus 1 by 2 which will give us order of n square asymptotically it is for comparison only now let's find out for swaps as i have told you or you can also see that there is only one swap in a single path so finally how many swaps will be there 1 plus 1 plus 1 up to n times so it will be n minus 1 times or we can also say it as asm totally equal to order of 1 and the time complexity will be what time complexity will be comparison plus swaps comparison is what order of n square and swap will be what order of n and we have to take whatever is larger so what is larger here order of n square so the time complexity of the selection sort will be order of n square for every case because comparison is greater so it will be because of comparison So thank you for watching please like comment subscribe and share with your friends and help them out with the similar topics thanks for watching